Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner, for being with us once again. And thanks for all the hard work you've been putting in on these issues. This is a joint committee meeting, Economic Affairs and the Special Tax Committee. And you'll be aware, Commissioner, that unlike what happened in the past, you now have powers both as far as budget is concerned, budget coordination as well as taxation. That's why I have a few questions I'd like to ask you. First of all, in a few weeks you're going to submit the country by country recommendations and these recommendations frequently address national tax issues but it's also possible in the European semester to look at practices which distort competition and that could be done, as I say, in the framework of the European semester. Secondly, once again, this is part of the European semester, I think, looking at macroeconomic imbalances, because it's possible if you combine in direct investment flows with data available from the IMF and the OECD and the information which we gather ourselves, I think we could be able to find out where the distorting practices are as far as certain member states are concerned. So the question is, are you going to try to integrate this element into your approach when the European semester comes around? Secondly, when you propose cuts to countries, tax administration needs to be protected. Are you going to do that? And thirdly, we hope that Council will be cooperative as far as you're concerned and won't water down your proposals but our paragraph 172 we propose that the commission use article 116 of the treaty if necessary so that it can short circuit the need for unanimity because of a, pro a process available in the European treaties that's what I wanted to ask you thank you very much Yes, as far as country by country recommendations are concerned, yes. Some economies are more vulnerable in terms of aggressive tax planning, and we need to factor that in in the context of the semester system. It already is to some extent on our, in our country by country analysis. We do flag this up, and we will continue with this approach. I won't go into detail with it because we'll be talking about it more next week. The College is going to be discussing this inter alia. We'll also be looking at macroeconomic disequilibrium. I think that these are all issues that need to be taken eminently seriously. We need to come across this as credible as we possibly can. In terms of our stance, we need to look as firm and convinced and convincing as we did on the excessive deficit procedure. And the thing is that the Eurozone certainly does have some countries that have more scope and it has uh, for action and it has also got some countries that more urgently need to act in this area. So we need to ensure that the action is taken where necessary. As to Article 116, to the best of my knowledge, I'm certain that it has never been invoked. The Commission is well prepared to investigate all possibilities and options, but I also, I'm aware that fiscal decisions need to be taken by unanimity. Sometimes this imposes a major break on progress. That being said, I am optimistic in this area. And the reason for this is that I think that public opinion is behind us. I think the institutions are behind these proposals. And I think that we all realise that we need to face up to our responsibilities where necessary. And this is an area par excellence where this is necessary. So we must not get bogged down in technicalities, because that would simply play into the hands of those who are already perpetrating fiscal fraud and worse. Of course, we're not at this stage yet. We're still having an initial exchange of, view, exchange of views. But if we need to ratchet up the tone, don't worry. I will be the first to be in there doing precisely that. As to the protection of financial administrations in reduction of public expenditure, well, that's a possibility, replies Mr Muscovici. We will see further down the line. Depending on the specific recommendations, this probably will be taken into account and will be as and where necessary in country-by-country -country recommendations.